Hey YouTube, Mike Simon here. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of this project I'm planning on doing for um, the winter. Uh, I've always wanted to rebuild a um, engine from the block up and then this year I finally got my hands on a uh, small block 350 uh, engine block. Um, it's out of a C10. It's a 72. Uh, casting numbers here are uh, K0614 TDJ. I'll take a look here and uh, this is actually the casting numbers here. GM3970010. But the block's pretty much almost um, stripped. I got the uh, oil galley plugs to remove. Uh, freeze plugs. Um, no heads are on this. Uh, the cranks out as well as the camshaft. I just got to get the cam bearings out of there. Um, some of the cylinders were a little rusty. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, I've sprayed them with uh, WD-40 to loosen up some of the rust that I had in here. And I'm just lightly touching them with a uh, very, very fine sandpaper. which I did one yesterday and uh, as you can see it came out uh, really clean. And then I'm just going to hone it out um, with a drill and a hone kit. Uh, but like I said, this block is pretty clean. Um, so hopefully uh, this will be a fun winter project. And uh, you guys can join me in uh, building this together as uh, I try to post videos of the honing and the assembly of this and all the parts that uh, I'm going to put in there. Not sure what uh, I want to do yet as uh, this is my first time putting an engine together. Uh, my brother-in-law and my father will be helping me, um, so it should be an interesting project. Uh, stay tuned for uh, updates and videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. So what I did is I went ahead and sprayed the cylinders here with some WD-40. And I'm going to take this really fine sandpaper grid um, and just go in here and just lightly touch up these cylinder heads. Just to knock some of the rust, because some of them are a little rusty, as you can see. So I'm just going ahead and clean them up. I'm going to do that for um, the next cylinders here. Um, I already did touch these sides up here. Um, so once I spray them down and then clean them up, they uh, look pretty good. No. Okay. This is going to be like a time. We want to time right now. A time. <laughs> time one, time two. Some ladies picking it up? Yeah, I have a team on top of the Melissa. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to hit stop. Alright, so I went ahead and did a quick light sand on the cylinders here. I'm just going to wipe them out with a, a dirty cloth here and get all the WD-40 out of it. You see, actually they came out uh, pretty good. So once... Uh, we get these cleaned out. We'll go ahead and use the honing kit, which actually goes on a drill and it has the stones on it. And uh, that will uh, 
definitely clean it up here. Again, I just did that to knock some of the rust, surface rust off. Um, as this block has been sitting in our garage for at least 10 years, I'd say. that cross hatch in it. See it? See how it cross hatches it? Mm -hmm. That's all you gotta do. Just enough to break the glaze and then the rings will seat. Flashlight, you see, you got it all hatched up. So we went ahead and honed these out, so they look good. Yeah, there's no ridge. No, there's some grooves in that one, though. Hmm. You might have to do that one a little more. This one does have some grooves in it. I don't like the <coughs> grooves.
So we went ahead and honed out the cylinders ourselves. Um, but it looks like a couple of them have some grooves in it. So we're going to end up having it bored over. Uh, but we went ahead and took out the, all the freeze plugs. Uh, scraped out um, all the gaskets that were left on the uh, heads in the front where the timing chain goes in the cover. Uh, pretty much got everything cleaned up. Again, all the freeze plugs. Still got to get the uh, galley plugs out and take out the cam bearings. Uh, once we do that, I'm going to uh, take it to the machine shop. And we're going to have it bored over and then uh, acid dip to clean them. 